YouTube back to another video from Kiev, Ukraine and today is 24 August 2021 and it's Ukraine's Independence Day. Uh, today Ukraine is celebrating its 30th, uh, 30th year of independence and it is approximately 834 years old. Mom and I are hopping on the tram to head downtown in the middle of about 100,000 people so wish us luck and we're running late of course. You can hear the cannons in the background that signal, signify the start of the parade. These are all the different countries. There's a uh, police here.
later in the day about seven o'clock in the evening uh, so one of the things I've noticed is a lot of the things I have scheduled here uh, Andre Bocelli just sang in concert uh, out here in the middle of Maidan they had like folk art dancing and some uh, displays and stuff set up yesterday and the day before it is all closed off to the average Joe so you had to be part of this special delegation to get in to see Bocelli which was actually out in front of the presidential palace by Mariinsky Park it was blocked off they had about a four block radius blocked off some people were standing in the streets, the police were clearing them out. You can't even get on Maidan. So it's kind of ironic that it's Independence Day and nothing is open to the common people. It's, so uh, it's kind of uh, disappointing you can see that oligarchy is alive and well in Ukraine. Okay, we finally made it back home after a long day. So I uh, walked over 11 miles, uh, saw some pretty cool things. I'm not sure, um, of course I haven't done the videos yet, edited the videos, so I don't know what the uh, flyover aircraft look like. And I'm going to try to run across the road while I'm talking to you at the same time <coughs> and not get hit. So I don't know what the flyovers look like. Hopefully I could zoom in enough. Um, did get to see the Anatov, which is the largest aircraft in the world they flew over. It's made in Ukraine. That was pretty cool. Um, did get to hear Bocelli sing a little bit, even though we couldn't really get close to him because we're just peons. Um, saw some pretty cool things. Uh, met some cool people. A little disappointed on uh, they didn't really put out a schedule of events anywhere I could find. I found one midday, about 10 minutes before one of the events I really wanted to go see. I didn't know what was going on. I found out about 10 minutes before. We were 30 minutes away, so we did miss some things. But all in all, it was a pretty good day. A lot of police presence, a lot of military presence, a lot of security, a lot of diplomats. And uh, okay, so that was the uh, 30th Independence Day of Ukraine. Hope you liked the video. Appreciate you watching. As always, see you soon.